We've got the Discover 2 in the house. This is an upgraded bike from Bellatrix original Discover 1 and they've made some huge upgrades and let's go ahead and show you what it's all about. They always have awesome packaging when it comes to electric bikes. Manuals and tools, some pedals, some accessories, color display, which is an upgrade. They didn't have that before. And it comes with a brighter light, so this light is brighter than the previous version. We've got a nice tool bag, and we're gonna use these to get it all set up and go through a walkthrough. That was a pretty easy setup, so let's go ahead and show you around. It's got these swooped handlebars, Tektro hydraulic brake levers, eight-speed Shimano shifter, nice ring and bell. Now this is a color display, which is nice and crisp, has app connectivity, and also Apple Find My. Brighter light with 130 lux of light. Left side has a thumb throttle, control module, and then you also have these nice grips that we saw on the Velatric Fold. Most bikes come with a USB-A charge port. This one comes with a USB-C charge port, which is the first one I've ever seen on an e-bike. Moving down the front, you have hydraulic suspension with 80 millimeters of travel, metal fender, 27 and a half inch by 2.4 inch Kenda tire. 180 millimeter brake test with two piston Tektro hydraulic brakes. You have a 48 volt, 14.7 amp hour battery that is integrated into the frame. And it's also IPX7 rating for the battery. The full bike itself is an IPX6 water resistance rating. To remove it, you just twist it and it pops right out. So this is a 48 volt, 14.7 amp hour battery. The charger is a three amp output charger. So this should take you a little bit under five hours to charge from empty to full. You have the Apple Find My located in the base of it. So this can help you recover your bike if you ever have it stolen. Right below the Apple Find My, you have a torque sensor, which is an upgrade from the cadence sensor on the Discover One. Plastic pedals, move into the rear. You have a rear rack with 66 pound weight capacity, metal fender, a rear light that actually acts as a brake light and has turn signals in it. Another 27 and a half inch by 2.4 inch Kenda tire, eight speed Shimano cassette, Shimano Altus derailleur, a 750 watt motor with a peak output of 1100 watts and 70 Newton meters of torque. On the other side, you have 180 millimeter brake disc with two piston Tektro hydraulic brakes. Overall, a lot of upgrades from the previous version. So we're gonna go ahead and get this freshly charged, take this out for a spin, tell you what we love about it, what we hate about it, and should you buy the Velatrick Discover 2. Okay, we're gonna start right in with this on a hill test. We're going up this hill. We're gonna see how it performs. It should be able to go up to 28 miles an hour, but this hill has slowed down many a bike. Mile throttle, 15.9 miles per hour. Take care of this hill. It's a big hill. It hasn't gone below 15. Yeah, I stayed steady at 15. So we've stayed steady at 15 going up this hill. We're almost to the top. All right, let's just do a top speed throttle test. What'd you get? 31.5. Yeah, I, I was on 32 on mine. That's pretty good. Most e-bikes stop you at 20 miles per hour, so I do love that this lets you throttle past 20. Yeah, the geometry is really good. So I've got zero pedal assist on right now, but the bike rides perfectly fine. They really designed these to be bikes first and then add the electric afterwards. So, so if you do happen to run out of battery, don't even worry about it, because you can ride this just like a regular bike. Okay, let's talk about the things that we like about the Velatric Discover 2. For me, it's the torque sensor. I love that they've added a torque sensor and it makes you feel like you have superhuman powers rather than just the bike doing all the work for you. They've always done a really good job with their paint choices and the color options. This is no different. We have have two colors with us. This is the crimson red, which has a really nice sparkle to it. Looks really sharp. And then the gray looks really good too. It also has cool features such as Apple Find My. If you use an iPhone, you'll be able to track this just like when you lose your AirPods or when you lose your AirTags. On top of that tech, it has a Bluetooth app where you can adjust all the settings. I also love that it's connected to the beautiful color display. This thing is really crisp, easy to read in direct sunlight, even with polarized sunglasses on. We're able to go up that hill, no problems, and then throttle only going up to 30, 31, 32 miles an hour. That is pretty impressive. Very nice that it's plug and play. When I say plug and play, that means you can actually just plug and replace different components as they need upgrading or as they fail. What we had with one of the bikes was a unit that didn't work. Velatric was great at sending us a new unit and then replacing it couldn't have been easier. So props to Velatric for the responsiveness and for making it so easy to repair and upgrade our bike.
I do love that this comes with Tektor hydraulic brakes. They're some of the best hydraulic brakes for an e-bike. And I also love that the handlebars are swooped, so it gives you a nice upright position. If you're not looking to be aggressive, if you're just looking for a cruiser type e-bike, this has a nice position because you're just sitting upright the whole time. The front light is surprisingly bright. A lot of these e-bikes come with lights that are terrible. This light is a 60 Lux light. It is sufficient enough for safe net riding. With all the cheap Chinese batteries that are out there, I will say it, battery fires, it is something that concerns me, especially when I have so many of these in my house, in my garage. Having the UL certification that lets you know that it has been certified so that you can sleep better and that you don't have to worry about a battery fire. The tail light is surprisingly bright and the turn signals are extremely bright. Some of the brightest that we've ever seen on a personal electric vehicle. And one thing I love is the front hydraulic suspension. A lot of these e-bike companies are using coil suspension. They just make a weird boing noise and they bottom out easy. Hydraulic suspension is sufficient for me weighing 200 pounds. And then there's also a really nice through axle bolt where it's nice and thick rather than being thin. It instills confidence that it's not going to snap on me while riding. Let's keep riding and our next stop we'll talk about what we don't like about this bike. All right, I'm gonna go set up for the brake test now. Andrew's gonna be coming around about 20 miles an hour and then he's gonna brake hard. About 22 feet. The tires on this are a little bit of a harder compound. They work perfectly fine for me when I'm just riding, but when you go to stop, you do notice that the harder compound will slide out a little bit more than a softer compound tire. Okay, let's talk about what we don't like about the Velatric Discover 2. For me, the biggest issue is that you can't really use the Apple Find My if you use an Android phone. You technically can log in from your phone, but you have to use an iPhone to set it up. So if you don't have an iPhone or don't have access to it, you can't get it set up to begin with. It's just an extra step to be able to track the bike if it does get stolen or lost. The other thing for me is the Bluetooth app is really nice to have, but everything that you can control from the Bluetooth app can be controlled from the display. So it's kind of unnecessary and I don't think it's really needed. I wish they would have spent a little bit more money on making something that can be tracked by both the iPhone and an Android phone. It's a little bit of a spaghetti mess up in front. I'd like to see this with a little bit more cable wrap to clean that up. I love that I can throttle to 32 miles per hour, but I hate that I can't throttle in pedal assist zero. I just wish I could ride the bike like a traditional bike, and when I want to use some throttle, I can, but I can't because pedal assist zero does not allow me to do that. I love that you can get all sorts of different types of accessories for the bike, but the front basket, it really makes the brake line get a strain on it. So on the gray bike that we have, we have the front basket on there. You can't really run the brake line through the basket, so it has to be on the edge. And so it just sticks out like this and creates a weird tension when you go to turn the bike. You can go from Eco Trail to Boost and have five different pedal assist levels in all three of those settings. But one thing that's really annoying is my throttle speed is dictated off of my pedal assist level. So if I'm in pedal assist one, I can't reach the full potential of the throttle. I have to be all the way in pedal assist five, which makes it annoying if I'm just trying to cruise around, have a little bit of assistance, and just use the throttle to get out of a sticky situation or go up a hill. At $16.99. Okay, this is Jimmy from the future, and unfortunately, between the time when we recorded this video to now, the government has instituted new tariffs, and so e-bike prices across the board are going up in prices. When we reviewed this, it was $16.99, and now it is actually more, I think it's $18.50. Still a great price, but just let you know, prices of e-bikes everywhere going up because of these new tariffs. The price I think is a fair price and if you want an additional discount you can get $60 off using our code below. So those are the things that we don't like about the Valtric Discover 2. Certainly a really good bike that they've made a lot of improvements and upgrades. We're going to keep riding and while we ride we're going to talk about who we think should buy this bike. There is one other thing that I did want to mention. The front suspension is great because it's hydraulic but the design of the metal fender right below it, it does cause you to hit the fender when you go off and compress the suspension. If you're going off curb, just plan on knowing that the suspension will cause the fender to hit the frame or the fork and you'll get a little bit of a clanging noise. If you're in the market for a bike that not only looks great, performs well, and has a lot of power, check out the Veltric Discover 2. We've had a great time on this bike. Our full rim review is at freshycharge.com. Thanks for watching and when you guys ride, wear your safety gear.